we're going to be talking about basic mixing tips in Logic Pro X. All right, so now let's talk about some basic mixing tips that we can do inside of Logic. One of the first things I like to do is make sure my session is properly organized so that I can easily maneuver around a large multi-track session such as this. So the first thing I'll do is make sure that all my tracks are named correctly. So you can simply rename a track by going to the track name here in the main window, double clicking on the name, and typing in whatever you would like it to be called. You can do this for all the tracks all the way down. You can quickly move to new tracks by clicking the tab key. Following this, I also like to color code my tracks and my regions so that it's very easy for me to see what is what. You can simply do this by right clicking on a track, going to assign track color, and this will open up a color palette. When we have this color palette open, we can change the track color and the region color. They can be two different things or they can match. This is a great step into proper organization of your session. Following this, I will go to the mix window, especially on a large multi-track recording such as this, and I will go ahead and select all my tracks. I can do this by selecting the very last track, going to the beginning, holding shift, and selecting my very first track. This will actually select all my tracks. Now to make sure I don't mix too loud, I like to pull all these down by maybe 5 or 6 dB. If your track is particularly loud, you could even pull them down further. But this basically gives me some room to mix. So now all my tracks are six decibels quieter. So now we have some basic levels set up. And this is a great way just to get started with the mixing. Now I can start adding EQ and compressors where I need them and start shaping some of the signals into something that's a little more mixable. Hey, this is John and you've been talking with me here at the SAE Institute about basic mixing tips in Logic Pro X. For more tutorials like this one, please visit usa.sae.edu.